Heat stress has a lot of consequences on the well-being of pigs. It could not only influence their body score in a negative way, it can also be bad for the next cycle. As faculty of veterinarian medicine in Utrecht, the Netherlands, they work with a water misting system to prevent heat stress. I'm going to have a conversation with veterinarian Josine Gelauf about this system and other options to tackle heat stress. Hello, Josina. We are here uh, between the gestating sows. Uh, nice to have you here. Thank you. I was wondering, um, heat stress, why is that such a, a big topic at this moment? Well, heat stress is important uh, in, in many phases of the, of the pig production cycle. For sows, it's important. Also for our weaned piglets. And, um, well, we are going into summer now, so... Um, I, I guess that's why we're having this conversation that we're here today. Exactly, because what can you do as a producer to well, make it to pigs as comfortable as possible and, and don't have that much heat stress? Well, um, if you keep your pigs inside, first you can isolate the, the ceiling, uh, the roof, so that uh, there's not too much sun burning inside. And uh, you can have large ventilation, ventilation systems um, some extra ventilators to get some more airflow in your, uh, well, for example, what we're doing here. And there's also a possibility, possibility to, um, uh, to have um, moisture uh, cooling systems. Exactly, because at this facility where we are now, it's a farm, but it's also a research place, right? And education. And education. Yeah, it's the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. Exactly. So what do we see here? Uh, what uh, ways of, uh, to, to prevent heat stress is implemented here? Well, here we've chosen for um, um, different options. For the gestating sows, they have ventilate, big ventilators and also they have some access outside so they can choose where they want to want to be. Um, As you normally see at an um, organic farm. Yeah, but yeah. this is not an organic farm. This is farm. not an organic farm, but it is has a, a, a plus for the animal protection. Yes, yeah. good. Um, and we um, we chose to get uh, moisture uh, cooling systems for the wean piglets, uh, for the uh, farrowing areas, and for the insemination areas. And how does that system work? Well, the incoming air in the summer. Uh, is is really warm. So after if, if if it reaches 23 and a half degrees or more, then the cooling system starts, and the and the moisture is uh, is cooling the the air down. So the incoming air is just a lot of, a lot cooler. So that's really uh, really comfortable for people and also for the pigs. These type of systems is that possible to implement that all over the world at every place, uh, pig farm, whatsoever. For well, um, I think in most areas in the world it's possible because um, um, the, the air must be hot but not too humid. So that's the most important thing actually. Uh, so if the climate is really humid like uh, sometimes uh, uh, in Asia, if it's too humid the system wouldn't work. Then, then it's not working. No. What could you do then if, it, if there's high humidity? Then you can provide isolation, um, shade, and of course a lot of air movement, so ventilators to, to keep the air moving. Okay. So at this place I used a warm misting system. Uh, what are some other systems that might help to reduce heat stress? Well, uh, specifically to cool the air down, the air inlet can also um, uh, be worked with with uh, heat exchanging systems. So um, if you don't, yeah, if you don't want to use this system, you can also use, uh, for example, the hot or cool air from the earthworms, or you can use um, uh, from the um, uh, air washing system. But that's uh, more useful for the heating in the winter time. And how can you track the comfort? of the pigs, how can you see if they struggle with the heat stress? Well, you can see on their behavior what, um, yeah, what they're feeling. If they are really hot, usually they choose another place to sleep. So uh, right now they are just really comfortable here in the straw, but if they are too hot, then they will choose some uh, area where it's a little bit wet or uh, like a slatted floor, or uh, they will go outside. So uh, they, they choose where they wanna be uh, because they can be too hot. And if they're not too hot, then they're just comfortable here. You could also measure the breathing um, frequency. So if they would breathe too too fast, faster 
then they will um, they're trying to get the heat out. Yeah. So that's uh, that's a way of a pig to uh, to get their temperature down. So for famous last words, uh, what would you say to producers who are like uh, heat stress? It's not important for me. Well, I think every farmer has some risk for for heat stress for their pigs. So I I would advise everyone to just. Um, take a look at the temperatures in their farm and also check if they um, if they could implement a system to to get the the heat uh, down perfect well thank you very much you're welcome